Did everybody have a nice little break? That was great. Really lovely. Yeah. Really, I'm really out of all of my drinks. Hmm? Like my my sweet teas and my, my nah, really sweet teas and my sprite. So I'm I'm out. Oh, so I gotta no. do that tomorrow. Gosh. I had to refresh. Yeah, I need a refresh, honestly. Oh, why? We need a Costco gonna... run in. Yeah. Oh my God. I love Costco. Okay. All right. Welcome back, everybody. So for this next part, guys, we are going to uh, today. We are talking. Stephen, your mouth is so far open. <laughs> like, I'm today. Very excited. Uh, <laughs> like today. Yeah, a little snack. Today we're talking about. Um, Session zero, uh, because for the next few weeks, we are actually going to be giving my little GM brain a break because I'm tired and Steven's going to be stepping in as our GM, Dagger Master, if you nasty, got it in, uh, Ayo. and then, hey. uh, <laughs> so we're all going to be playing characters, this is not even for you. Uh, I'm, I get to be a character again. Sometimes I get to do that with this group. It's so fun. Okay. Love it. Great so, time. session zero stuff. Like, what, Steven, do you do you want to guide us through any session zero stuff to start? Um, I sure am. So, uh, uh, go ahead. What's up? Right, so do we need to do another intro since this will be a separate video, or are you just going to reuse the other one? I'm going to reuse the other one. We're not going to do it again. Yeah. yeah. Nope. We had two anyways. Yeah, yeah. We're all I used the same one. This how about we do this? We're in the real, same thing. Yeah. Real quick, let's do this. I'm gonna say hi, I'm Rachel, and then all of y'all at the exact same time say and I'm, I'm da, 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 da. Oh, I thought okay. we should all be Steven. I am Steven. Everybody yeah, let's is a forum. Do that. Let's do that. You want to? Okay, ready? Here we go. Hi everybody, I'm Rachel. And I'm, and I'm, I'm Steven. Steven. <laughs> <laughs> that was I'm great. Terrible. And we're the Fate Divinities, a channel that is doing this. Uh, we we yeah. we play Dagger <laughs> Welcome Heart. Welcome to Session Zero. Yeah, God, it's a mess. <laughs> Sorry, I'm probably not going to use this, uh, but just to clarify, we're shooting two in one because we're taking a week off. So if you've made it to this video, we're Session Zeroing for... Mm -hmm. Steven's campaign. Steven, give us For a little bit of background. my campaign. All right. So um, you guys are going to be adventuring in the uh, the coastal city of Pearl Heart. Um, oh, Pearl We're on Heart the coast again? On the coast again. I, I love we the coast. on that coast. I we love the love beach, it. Rachel. Love we it. love the sand, the crabs, all of it. Mm, Do it. Of I am such a not beach girl. <laughs> I hate the beach in real life, but here <laughs> in this <laughs> game, we love it. Making you Texas <laughs> folk to the it, ocean. Is it? I don't <laughs> like it. Is it, LA. is it at least gonna be like <laughs> like that kind of uh beach where it's like seattle beach with like rocks and stuff or is it tropical beach so, so <laughs> give me a second <laughs> like a you, you guys are gonna be adventuring in pearl harbor it's a bustling Fantasy City with Pearl shimmering Harbor? waters. Steven, oh, Harbor? The one I got. Steven, I <laughs> don't think I we should do this. Pearl Harbor? Like that Pearl Heart. I'm sorry. Oh. I did say Pearl <laughs> Harbor, but it's Pearl Heart. <laughs> That was that was uh, me bad, me you, bad. Inspire some <laughs> bonus content, MC Cat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who lives um, near the beach? It's not all that. I hate the ocean. Rachel uh, does want a game set in Idaho. Yeah, a spooky little cornfield. Yes, this is wild. Oh my gosh, we should do it for Halloween. Yes, we absolutely will. One hundred percent. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, Stephen. Maybe maybe workshop Pearl the Heart. name. Yeah, just okay. to be careful, you know. I, I like Pearl Heart. It's that's it. Okay. I just was. I was just on one. Um, we're gonna you be standing and toes down. <laughs> <laughs> I got it down now. Um, it is um, going to be a coastal city okay. with shimmering waters, a vast harbor that reflects dreams and ambitions of a diverse group of people living and uh, running businesses within the city. Um, there are going to be towering pearl white spires that reach towards the sky, towards the center. Um, this is going to be more of your uh, noble district where you have your uppity ups. Um, but overall, the, the, the city itself is like 
a vast kind of sprawling, um, cordoned off kind of city. So there is a harbor district, uh, market ward. We have the noble district where you have the the um, the ivory heights. Um, our artisans quarter where you find most of the people that are doing like blacksmithing and stuff like that. Um, our temple pre uh, precinct. And then there is an under city where some um, of the, the pirating and robberies and okay. bandits like to live. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm back in. So it's not like a little, <laughs> it's not a sea shanty town like what we were this doing is, in the one shot. This no. is a city. It's being His defense, most city. biggest cities, right, are like port towns. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. It's a port yeah. city. Love it. Mm -hmm. I'm in. Okay. All right. um, you guys will have been here from anywhere from two months to six months. Um, y'all can decide that as y'all discuss your characters. Um, y'all have done just a couple of adventures at this point. Um, so y'all have been used to adventuring with each other, but not necessarily um, long-term living together, except for, I believe we have two sisters uh, joining the table tonight. Or joining the table for the yeah, few Justin nights. and Chris are playing sisters. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's crazy. <laughs> it's guys. bound to happen. Yeah, it's yeah. bound to happen. It's bound to happen. Um, but besides that, uh, y'all's main contact would be uh, uh, let me double check to make sure I'm not getting my captains mixed up. It's a coastal oh, city captains. after all. Um, we're leading Captain right into Marauders of Windfall. You guys were staying there. What was their name? Um, Captain Yorvik. He is a Simia. I like that. Yorvik. Um, he's a Simia. Um, he's a, yeah, a Simia. Well, no, he's a gorilla, so he's a big oh. kind of Simia. Oh, my gosh. Um, <laughs> with a peg leg. His his left leg is just a little peg of wood. One of the little front ones? I the back one. The back one. <laughs> the okay. bottom. We are certainly not getting the serious campaign. Like, mm -hmm. this is not... You don't know what he does with that leg. <laughs> Yeah, he's, <laughs> he, is a, he is a good guy. What are you talking about? I'm not saying um, he's not good. That, 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 um, he runs the the Silver Kraken Tavern uh, in the, uh, the the Arbor District, um, yeah. and that's essentially the the bits y'all need to know. We can answer more as we go along. Cool. Um, I will launch off because hold on. Rachel is going to go first, and she's going to tell us about her character. Okay. All right. Okay. So for character creation in Daggerheart, you start with your class. And so I have chosen to play a rogue. I am going to be an actual rogue doing rogue things. <laughs> Like, yeah so um so i feel like kayla and i should introduce our characters together though because together i was thinking that are y'all sisters what go ahead mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah kayla okay so um we are both baseline fawns but we're mixed ancestry because we have different moms so i'm a fawn human and Rachel is a fun elf <laughs> and uh -huh. something really cool about it too is that so Kayla really wanted to do the fun thing and I was very excited about it but I do want to be more as Justin said straight man maybe gay but also like the normie um <laughs> mm -hmm. so our father is the same person it's he mm -hmm. is a fawn, fawn. Uh, so we but he's hoeing around hoeing around so kayla got more of the fawn genetics at least for her appearance and she has deer antlers right oh yes yes it's a full 10 point yeah mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. but my character she just has like little pricks of horns like and and just like her feet are almost indiscernible like she almost looks elven you can see it and she does have like a little bit of stuff but it's not full-blown fawn because i have less of that and more of the elven background in me mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i think kayla That's your exactly class it. Oh, uh, I'm going to be a druid. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited. Um, it was going to be, I think I'm going to do the Warden of Renewal, you know, just because oh. you did the elemental one. So I was like, let's 
something else. Cool. So. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. yeah. Um, do your characters have names yet? Oh, yeah. My character, it's Sylvie, and I think the last, it's Von Vald, I think is how we decided to do it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we made them like uh, like German, Germanic names. It's like of the forest kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, yeah, mine, my character is Jaina von Wald. So, mm -hmm. and we're sisters because I mm -hmm. kind of wanted to do, so she is going to be a full rogue. And to give you mm -hmm. my character, Kayla, you do your appearance first because I feel like you're... Oh. Well, yeah, she, so she does, like, she looks like a fawn, but, like, albino. So she, she's, like, mostly white with, like, but we went with purple eyes a little bit. And then white hair. And that, oh, her freckles are white, too. Yeah. So yeah. I think that's very cute, like her horns. Yeah. And, and so we both have, like, white hair and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, white freckles. And your mm -hmm. eyes are purple. I feel like, mm -hmm. our, 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 do our eyes match or are they different? They can be different. We have different moms. Do like, what you want to do. I'll, I'll figure that out. But... <laughs> Um, so, but aesthetically, my girl looks like a rogue, like, or, oh. or, or even a, just, just black mm -hmm. fitted stuff, hood, mask mm -hmm. that she pulls down to talk. She's a rogue, but mm -hmm. I am pulling a little bit from like rangery stuff too. Mm -hmm. it, you know, like the Aragorns of the world and stuff, the Striders, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, so she, because I chose the name Jaina because I love Laura Bailey, who plays Jaina Proudmore. Jaina Proudmore in World of Warcraft, mm -hmm. um, and so this is kind of a, a nesting doll of a reference because it's kind of an homage to Vax and Vex. Um, both of them. I'm going to take certain of the domain abilities that would work for either. And I kind of think she might carry a bow sometimes, though. I'm sneaking in and being sneaky with it. But yeah. Really quick, Bud Nugget said, uh, yes, the Targaryens of the Fawn communities. Listen, I wanted to make her like Helena minus the like dragon dream. So she's like a fairy princess, but she's creepy. She's like the spiders, like she's getting down on the ground with them. You know, her familiar could be like a little scorpion. She's a bug lady. It's so good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, good. yeah. Uh, we're very excited about it. It's gonna be a good time. Like me and Caleb have been like do -do 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 -do, back and forth mm -hmm. for like the yeah. last few days. So fun. yeah. Oh, we forgot to say that our moms. We didn't. They didn't know yeah. Yeah. that they were sleeping with the same dude. It was a bard that rolled through town, and they were telling each other they were friends. Mm -hmm. They were like, "Oh, this guy, this guy," and then he bails. They're both pregnant, but it turns out it's fine because they become lesbians together and they raise us together. And they love <laughs> and each other. Happy. They love each other, and it's happy ending. Nothing bad happens with the moms. Uh, coming on to my character, yeah, my, my nothing awesome. bad <gasps> happens with the moms. He's Wait, what are you saying? Two moms. Wait, he has two moms. Uh, too. Uh, oh, like I'm weirder. <laughs> oh, uh -oh. This is a fungus. Um, uh -oh. but yeah, but the, the last thing that about that like two mom situation, we grew up very lovingly because they got to support mm. each other through their pregnancies mm -hmm. and they fell in love as part of that and mm -hmm. bonded. And when they had us, that's why Sylvie, although her mom is a human, and Jaina, although my mom is an elf, they named the other daughters as like a symbolic thing of like. So I got the like elfy name. She got the elfy name. I got the human <laughs> name, and yeah, and and. <laughs> Yeah, it's I very just, cute. I'm very excited. I'm going to be playing basically Vixalia, but as a rogue, you know? <laughs> like, 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 I'm very excited for her. So, yeah. That's us. Oh, very good. Very interesting. I like this. I like this. Um, let's go ahead. We'll uh, to Justin. All right. Uh, let me know if you're okay with this, but I'm going to keep my class a little vague. Oh. If that's all right. Uh, it, it, a it, mystery. Uh, so I'm playing Gob Skillskin. He's a, uh, you know, I'm doing mixed ancestry again, doing Goblin Dracona. Uh, he's playing a wizard. Um, Rachel's going to remember this. I'm recreating a character from D&D. &D. Uh, okay. Um, his, he he kind of started out, he's, he's not very old, maybe only like eight, ten-ish. He's a goblin. They don't live that long. It's fine. He's like almost middle-aged. Um <laughs> Uh, but his mother was pregnant with him. She was a goblin, eaten whole by a female dragon, 
also mm-hmm. pregnant at the time about to lay her eggs. Uh, but while she was inside of the dragon hole, still alive, she gave birth to the goblin. Uh, well, I say gob, it's Job. I just realized That's I missed so that. so traumatic as so the mother. Anyways, in, the mother going. Hole, she gave birth inside of the dragon. The dragon was slain by people outside. Uh, and so he oh. then born both mothers dead, takes this egg from inside the dragon, takes it out. That's He claims it as his brother. Uh, and so oh. he pulls some of his magic from this egg, but he just carries it around with him, a little dragon egg. But uh, that's his brother. And They got egg. pulled out of his dead dragon mom. That Wait, wasn't really his mom. Is yeah. this... Is this is this gonna be at all like head in a jar situation? Like you know, like you carry around a brain in a jar that thinks for you at all? What's this vibe? Well, no, it's just, it's just an egg. I get is my it magic. Is it alive? From Does it look alive and everything? Oh, I I put that in my like background things. I hope it's alive. I believe it's alive, but I'm worried that he doesn't want. He's either dead or doesn't want to come out no. because he doesn't want to hang out with me. Oh, uh, so that's like, oh God. That's like question. But anyways, he carries it around. Oh, Justin's gonna be cute. Justin. Be so cute! Oh, don't God. worry, Crit. You made it just in time. Hi, Hi. Hi. The giant. See you on Thursday. <laughs> um, oh my yeah. God! But yeah, so he also has two moms, but they're both dead. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so he was actually raised by like uh, like the the town uh, that you know they slayed the dragon. He climbed out of it with an egg, so they kind of just took him in. So uh, he was kind of like, I don't want to say trained by, but like uh, honed in by the sheriff. Uh, can be of the same town that y'all are coming from, if you like. But like the sheriff trying to bring you down. I have a sheriff, a warden, the warden, the warden <gasps> of the woods. Yes, I like that. We can all be from the same place. That's yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that is so. Cute. Oh, yeah. So that, that's kind of that's kind of his his thing. You, you know, some growing things along the way. He kind of burned down the the chapel, and that's why he had to leave. But uh, <laughs> it was proven that he was half dragon. But you know. You burned down the chapel in our town. Maybe you're not from our town. Like, yeah, I was going to say, it sounds I like you caused a mischief. A mischief, a neighboring town. Mm-hmm. Two quick. towns over. Two, Two towns, towns over. over. MC Cat said, uh, Laura Bailey is my critical role crush. Not going to lie, LMAO. I cannot speak uh, to about that. Um, but I love Laura Bailey very, very much. <laughs> like, um, I just think that, I just think she would, I think we could be friends. Um, and then... Uh, Justin, for the people here that played Pokemon, help me. What's the sad little Pokemon that wears his mother's skull as uh, Cubone? Cubone. What is it? Yeah, everyone here, Cubone. Yeah. Yeah. I I didn't get to play Pokemon, you guys, but I was always so sad for that one, and that's what Justin <laughs> sounds be. like right now. <laughs> See that? Oh God. Okay. But yeah. So that, that's 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 Job. It's spelled Gob, and everyone just calls him Gob, but it's 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 Job. It is Job. You know. Do we know that it's Job? He's suffering. <laughs> if we do, I'm calling you Job. Actually, maybe that, I that's fine. It, it always slips into Gob. Okay, it's Gob. All right, okay. cool. I think canonically we need to call him Gob. That's part of his story. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Fair. Fair. All right, and then we're gonna go down to Chris. <laughs> I'm playing, uh, what, what, what's the city one? It's not Pearl Harbor. It's Pearl. Pearl Harbor. I'm so worried Pearl about Harbor. that, guys. I really am nervous about naming it this. Maybe Pearl, Pearl Bay. Maybe Pearl Bay. Whatever the name of this city is. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I we'll see. Know, I, yeah, I'd, I'd love to not get canceled for that. Yeah. Pardon me, Pearl. <laughs> I don't All know. right, guys. Everybody real careful. Pearl Heart. Okay, Pearl Heart. Heart. <laughs> Um, so I'm playing Grim. He's a a human, part giant. So he's a very big, uh, imposing fellow, a bit shy. Uh, he works as a gravekeeper, um, a noble from this already. city, uh, who might secretly be a necromancer, um, has paid me to give him bodies. Mm-hmm. of which was our secret agreement yeah. and uh you this. know grim being a poor guy took the took the offer and as you uh, i would too yeah you know until one day uh i uncovered a tomb that was a little special cursed me and now i have a uh a, a curse from this uh entity that is kind of tasking me with uh 
protecting people. And so protecting in that, them. I'm a guardian. Yeah. By the way, just very to... briefly, Kayla, I just want you to know, I know we've talked about some similar stuff in our personal lives in, for, in terms of like grave robbing and stuff. I, Chris mm -hmm. and I have talked not at all about that. Like this is so, mm -hmm. like, it's so I love this the parallels. That's why I was like, tell me more about this gravekeeper. Mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> and the cursed tomb. <laughs> um, yeah, you need to tell me more about that, Chris. Send me details. <laughs> <laughs> for sure yeah um, i figured i was like well since it's like six episodes i'm gonna make it in this city <laughs> yeah no, so that way there's more to uh, play off of yeah yeah um yeah and so yeah there's there's a, a noble somewhere that uh had to deal with me uh to give him the bodies i would take the belongings on the body as a noble he didn't need money he just uh needed other things mm -hmm. and um until it bit me in the ass one day and so no, you I don't have. give him bodies anymore? No. Uh, I got mm. cursed with a body which kind of decayed my left hand. So <gasps> my left hand kind of yeah. disappeared a little bit. You could still see it, like, ethereally. Did the corpse get a good hand? Did it transfer? <laughs> Did it get a hand? <laughs> no. I don't know where mine there. went. So it's not but, like uh, a shriveled hand. It's like a corp an incorporeal hand? Yeah, no, like it'd be like uh, oh, the color decaying. of like necroticism. So like my fear. Oh, it is decaying. Yeah. Is this is like, like from your ethereal green? Yeah. yeah. Oh. That's the color of my hand. Oh, scary. Oh, I like that a lot. He could bandage it and try to hide it. That's such a cool Kayla's character thing. Oh, and because... it just like comes out <laughs> like, oh my God, what's wrong with his hand? Because this is like a, a trope that happens sometimes, right? Like I think we, when we talked about this, I had said, I had said Moroku from Inuyasha, but I don't think that's necessarily the vibe. There's like, what, Game of Thrones stone men? I, I was going, oh yeah, like, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Jorah the Mormon. Yeah, Grayscale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gray scale. Gray scale. There it is. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. yeah it's kind of a, yeah, a decaying magical terminal illness. Mm -hmm. What um, What is, so you're going Guardian. Do you know which um, subclass you're going? Oh, good question. I think I'm going to go Stalwart because I think, like, Part of his thing is he's uh, tasked with being like a guardian, kind of like in a Green Reaper sense of not taking lives, but like helping uh, protect people when it's not their time to go That's and intervening. Cool. Mm -hmm. I love cool. that. I love that. But you, you're saying, but you are saying that you're like from Pearl Heart. Yeah, I think we'll make him from Pearl Heart. That might be fine. I dig that. I can get behind that. Since uh, you know the other three are potentially from the same area geographically, we'll uh, we'll mix it up. Yeah, yeah, that's so cool! I'm so excited. So we know a local. Um, mm -hmm. Just as a point of reference, though, I'm trying to decide. So Kayla, you said you're going Warden of Renewal, which I'm so excited mm -hmm. about. Mm -hmm. That one looks really good and really strong. Um, plus, I feel like it goes with the Helena vibes. Mm -hmm. um i am torn on mine i i almost want to try the syndicate rogue thing again um but nightwalker is just cool i feel like that one sounds so cooler cool. right I think though I have to you do said that. that one yeah it yeah. sounds cool so so syndicate rogue you guys saw a little bit like mm -hmm. that's what jimbo did well is it is we, we we struggled with it a little bit some on my part but i think also like there's it's just interesting but you yeah, have there's a lot of planning you have to do it per city you go to yeah which i would love to have that um i i i, I honestly might you know still may i might just be a night walker and still like see if i have people that i know in the city honestly because i love that rogues are fun when they do that um but the night walker moving from shadow to shadow and staying hidden so that you can do the attacks that's just so powerful so strong that's cool sneaky sneaky i think i'm gonna do that one i think i'm gonna do the night walker oh, so cool um yeah and then justin we don't even know what class you're doing formally so we're gonna oh wizard wizard yeah, wizard. <laughs> okay, all right. Do we want to talk? It's about subclass at all, or are we we we're, we're staying kind of vague about it, right? For surprises. Yeah. Okay. 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 
I mean, I'm sure it'd come out through me using abilities and stuff. People, if they look at it, that's fine. But you know, yeah, okay. I won't look I'll now. Do you all, do you guys have uh, character sheets already like put together? Nope. Um, okay, that's fine. I, that's fine. I put one together like tentatively, but I'm gonna look you know back on it and stuff like um, that. But I do on have one. Those, here they now. have those questions. So I was just gonna have mm-hmm. y'all do some of yeah. those questions back and forth. Yeah, yeah we can do back. those. And pull that up real quick. Yeah, they're all different. Does everybody is everybody okay to find yours and everything? Okay, mm-hmm. great. I got I'll, one. Then I'll just go to my rogue one. So on the screen in the stream, you should be seeing mine in just a second. Sorry for all of the okay. scrolling. Um, so I'm but... just clicking create connections, right? It's not the yeah. or is it the background one? Okay, it's the connections. Cool. Yeah, I think it's the connections. Yeah, that that's the thing that we need to like do as a group, really. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. okay. Um, who wants to go first? So, what I, what I'll start off with is like loosely, like I mentioned, you guys will have been here for two to six months, probably closer to like, I would probably say closer to like two to three months. Let's just say two to three months. Um. You would have come in and your contact, uh, I will say Rachel, um, it's Jonah, right? Is Jaina. Jaina, Jaina. Yeah. Um, Jaina would have had a contact moving into the city um, to go and talk to Captain Yorvik. Um, he now is a very charismatic uh, tavern owner, but in his heyday, he was a pirate. Um, he- uh, is, Pirate Roberts uh, in retirement. Mm-hmm, basically, kinda. Um, and uh, you would have heard through some form of connections through your, you know, uh, dealings with the the le- the you know not so kind or a little more on the far side of the law um, of Yorvik, and that's how you'd have found your way there. As far as like y'all traveling, um, we decided that Job would have lived just a couple cities over. So maybe as y'all were moving along, um, y'all had like a small conflict on the road, some animals attacked. Y'all happened to be traveling on the same road at the same time. I uh, want to propose something because okay, Job's cute, right? I feel Job like is cute. cute. Is it? Is well, it, I don't know. I don't know. Is Job cute? That's just the question. Oh, yeah, we didn't uh, go into the experience. Yeah, so I, yeah. I definitely feel like I'm getting a dark vibe from everyone else, but yes, uh, he's definitely more of a cute thing, but he's he's kind of dumb. Okay. But oh. so the a, an important thing to note, guys, is that we're all level four. So mm-hmm. uh, so like either we've been hitting hard since we got into the city to climb or we all had some skills before we met. Exactly. Him. And that's kind of what I'm thinking is that y'all would have had some kind of skills before meeting. Yeah. But is Job maybe a I'm failing my way up. Are you okay? <laughs> um, wh- is it possible that you were getting beat up on on the road, and then me and probably? So us, Kayla, Sylvie, see a and very Jana? cute thing. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, we just came. In- <laughs> yeah, we came to your <laughs> rescue. Mm-hmm. Just two sisters with white hair. That. We're just friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hello. Just out of nowhere. <laughs> okay, sorry, Steven. <laughs> um, no, that's great. Uh, and then y'all make y'all's way to town. Y'all meet Captain Yorvik. Mm-hmm. Um, Grim would have known the Silver uh, uh, Silver Crack and Tavern um, from just living in the city for as long as he did. Um, when he got the the calling from whatever this haunting is to to protect people, um, it would come to mind that kind of in that like same right of he was doing wrong and now he needs to do right. Captain Yorvik used to be like that, right? He was a pirate in his heyday. Maybe he can help me get on the right side of things like he is now. Um, and then through that's him, cool. y'all would have had y'all's first adventure. Um, and then that's where these connections can kind of kick off okay. the, uh, the full party. Y'all want to have like, personal connections between sisters and stuff like that. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So what was the, do you have an idea of what the the thing was that we did at all? Oh yeah. So, um, so y'all's like, so y'all had one simple job first, which was just like, Hey, find this Royal's cat, find this noble's cat. It is somewhere, uh, it is somewhere in the city. Um, 
and uh, y'all would have went and located this cat. Turns out it is not just like a house cat, but it is like a uh, tiger kind of like big, large cat. And then y'all have to like wrangle it back to where it went. Um, so y'all second- definitely turned into a cat during this to try to find the cat, right? <laughs> <laughs> I do it. I do it. Um, right. And then y'all would have had a second adventure that would actually took you off coast. So y'all would have been on a ship and probably have just gotten back to Pearl Heart about a week or two ago. Okay. Okay, cool. I got you. All right, yeah. so we went off and did um, something somewhere? Mm-hmm. Essentially, you went on like a uh, a guard tri- trip. Oh, so you all rode, so rode a boat, like a so simple funny. like... This is yeah. so similar to our actual campaign, like in terms of story beats, like we just got off the windfall, you know? <laughs> like, like, it is funny so that... Um, oh I don't I make Justin, it really easy to assume it. Yeah. Uh, after we ended uh, the last session, I was like, what's really fucked up is I've had this thing planned out. I, I told you um, months ago, I've had this no. thing planned out. <laughs> and I was like, it's pirates. I already had pirates. Do you remember, and now we're doing pirates. Do you remember <laughs> we were doing our campaign and Matt Mercer was like, there's a red moon the night that I parted the trees in the Druid Enclave and you looked up at a red moon and yeah. I was like, Matt Mercer! <laughs> but for, my, for my ongoing campaign, like literally every time we'd finish something, I created some big homebrew thing. Like here's a here's a multi, like basically a multi, to, like a Hydra dragon with different elements. Two weeks later, they, hey, here's that new book with this elemental Hydra. I'm like, yeah. I spent hours making that. Yeah, you can never have a. You know how it's like nobody ever has a a unique idea, especially in tabletop. <laughs> like it just doesn't have yeah, to go under yeah. the sun. Well, okay. like my initial idea for my guardian was to make him kind of like a riff off the Greyjoys from Game of Thrones. Um, yeah. So oh, they're yeah. kind of badass pirates in that they wear armor. So if they fall off the ship, they sink. They're very brave. Right. Uh, oh, one of my experiences yeah. is what is dead may never die. I went to kind of like a grim grave kind of guy and i was like it still fits so it's funny we ended up in the ocean so we're doing all this, <laughs> we're doing all this game of thrones stuff and we got me as this like dragon rider i love thing. that you're the yeah. cute yeah thing yeah because that yeah. makes us more like can you imagine a full-grown dragon not even full-grown because you're little. little you could be a teenager dragon and you're riding them i like yeah, the dynamic of this party <laughs> i like the composition cool. is cool you know yeah it's exciting i'm, I'm excited to see y'all tearing it up together so questions, um, who wants to start? Who has a connection question they want to start with? I've got an easy one. So I'll like softball it in there. I feel like this gets asked just when you're making small talk sometimes. Um, so we're going to say, Chris, what animal did I tell you that you remind me of? I feel like that's easy. So just, oh, yeah. that's cute. Yeah, it's cute. It's easy. You said that's easy? Yeah. Oh, I thought you, I thought I took that as in like that's easy. I have the perfect one in mind. I was like, oh, oh no, hell no, yeah. No, 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 no. You, there's no wrong softball, answer. You softball. can say anything. Yeah, I got you, got you, got you, got you. He's a weirdo, so it's, it's no big deal. It'll mm. work. What is a good one for me? Um, an owl. <gasps> an owl. Because an owl is kind of like a uh, Egyptian messenger passing. Oh, I don't have one tattoo. Getting on my those arms, vibes. So. Just getting those like you know. I don't know. She can tell that there's something going on from him, but beyond. My, my character is definitely a meerkat. Oh, I, I want to. You should answer too, Rachel. Yeah, yeah. Answer too. I think of you because one of my favorite animes is Princess Jellyfish, uh, and I think of you as like a jellyfish. Like they're they're like um, the ones that are white and lum- and luminous and glow at night and everything, mm-hmm. and they're ethereal, but they hurt you sometimes to touch, and like mm-hmm. you can't get too close. Like they're always at a distance. I feel like that. I think I think the question was like, what do you? What animal do you? You think yeah, you are. what did my character say that you remind her of? Oh, God. Okay. Well, I think you're a jellyfish. You think I, I like that a lot. I love that a lot, yeah. but I think you're a jellyfish. You think that I am. I feel like you think that I'm something soft and cute, even though bunny. I. Like, yeah, like you think of me as like um, a bunny, you know? Okay. Like, I was thinking when you said soft and cute, I was thinking, but dangerous, right? 
So I was thinking of that little cat, the little Savannah cat that's got like the highest kill rate of all like cats in the wild. Oh my god, they're so cute. I was thinking <laughs> of Python, the, the, the rabbit with teeth. But... <laughs> <laughs> I, I love that. I love that yeah, too. A, a jungle cat is good like this, but the small one, like you don't, mm -hmm. you. A the, sand cat. It could be. Yeah, like, because I think that most people would see me as, as like pretty intimidating, but I think that you don't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was a great yeah. question, Kayla. That was very fun. I liked that mm -hmm. one. Good job. What do other people have. I do like this. Uh, rather than just asking one person, I want y'all to ask everybody the same question. Okay. Yeah. He's like, let's like, do it. It, 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 it feels. Um, we played uh, Cards Against Humanity the other day, and it's just like mm -hmm. it's getting to throw. Like everyone gets to throw their idea. Mm -hmm. out. Let's do it. Let's do it again. Okay. I got one. Why, why do y'all trust me so deeply? <laughs> Just so cute. Look at that face. Look at that <laughs> face. And the way that he, like, just loves that egg and just takes care of it. That's not from his, like, real mom. Like, that dragon ate him. You know what I mean? But he was like, this egg, that's my brother. And I respect that loyalty. I like that that's Helena's. And I agree with that. That was my gut instinct. But I'm going to delve a little bit deeper for, for my character specifically. Like, I think that my character, because I thought cute too. But then I was like, I don't know that that's Jaina. I would say Jaina's thing is when we came up on you, you were being ambushed by people or whatever. But you were already like a level three. You should have been able to take them out and you probably were able to take them out so something about you was just choosing not to hurt these people um which stupid but also like that's nice that i want to protect that yeah they have for me to take me home i get to hang out there for a bit until i burn down a church and get the sheriff eaten by wolves and then i go somewhere else he just wants to be oh. loved <laughs> oh. <laughs> and just so bad luck follows him or get burnt up or whatever i'll just find another group yeah if you <laughs> freaking make this character to kill him i will kill you oh uh, uh, but that's a very different character i won't get attached to cool. any of your characters anymore i have learned my lesson <laughs> <laughs> nah. that was it <laughs> the fear is real I'm on the previous run of this character previous runs of this character he's the only one that i've been sad when he died Stephen. Oh. He's but he did die, and that's telling. I, I Kayla, you're a renewal. this character twice. Oh, yeah. As a player, he did. Yeah. Yeah. Keep him safe, video. Kayla. Yeah, you're a renewal. My best. Okay, mm -hmm. what What was the... Uh, so, Chris, you didn't answer. Why do you trust Gob? Yeah, so mine is, um, in the medieval times, people who uh, were executioners, or I think grave diggers, uh, lived outside of town. Uh, they, they did, didn't did they? I yeah, love they we're on live. similar thinking. Okay. How do you have this knowledge? Because that was a problem. I have this knowledge because I played Kingdom uh, Come Deliverance, an RPG that is a very realistic. Uh, Wild that you played that game. That's medieval. Game. Yeah. It's, it's like very game. immersive. And it you run into game. these guys, and yeah, he lives outside of town because they mm. did it very accurate to history. Um, so, they're dirty. Uh, <laughs> Caleb, yeah. my brain is <laughs> losing it right now. <laughs> he <laughs> knows what's games. up. We all get in there, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's a, um, we'll talk about this but, later, why this is blowing my mind. But anyway, keep going, <laughs> keep going, keep going. So yeah, well, Grim with his occupation, uh, he was taken in by the previous uh, Gravekeeper, right? So that's who raised him. Where it came mm -hmm. of own, that person passed. I took up his job. Uh, <laughs> And so I'm a lonely guy. I saw um, Gob walking mm -hmm. through the city and my magical hand kind of <gasps> drew to him like a certain sort of like spiritual link. Your magic and hand imprinted. <laughs> since it's a guardian of uh, protecting life, this little creature protecting his little brother who is an egg uh, kind of drawn me towards him and he became a little buddy of mine justin you motherfucker you've made <laughs> such a cute character. you've become the darling <laughs> of the team <laughs> oh that's cute that's cute okay all right so all right, rachel or chris y'all gotta have a question yeah my question for all of you because like because we're all answering this is but it's gonna be one thing for this answer so y'all think about it together what did I recently convince the group to do that got us all in trouble? 
I'm mm. a rogue. You are a rogue. So I, I think we were definitely causing a distraction of some sort. Uh -huh. while, while she, while she was trying to get stole something. something. Maybe like an animal that somebody was keeping that she was like, I don't like how that looks. I stole it. <laughs> I animal. like that you're keeping. Yeah, like I don't like how you're treating that monkey. You're making him dance for like coins in the street. Everybody make a distraction. I'm gonna take him. I'm gonna release you him. Y'all made a sink at the Pink Pony Club for her. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and but that... we, we got in trouble? I definitely lit something on fire. Oh. Oh, <laughs> as you just want to do. I like to think that we spent like three days jail time. Gives us yeah. a little street cred as a yeah. adventuring party, you know? I love that. Yeah. Steven did. But the boys were in one and the girls were in the other, but we were, we could see each other, so we were just talking bullshit. I would walk between the, cell, like, between the bars and walk over, hang out with y'all, and go back. Oh my god, <laughs> you just slipped through. <laughs> Steven, we definitely burnt down, like, at your discretion, either a just one building or, like, a street. A pretty like, three and, orphanages. And, yeah. So, oh, what, no. uh, <laughs> Jesus. I'll say, y'all burnt down a full building, and then it, the fire didn't necessarily reach to the, next, the building next to it. It was put out before then, but fire did fall from that building and burnt down some of the small, like, uh, kiosk kind of things that were like surrounding it. So you really you destroyed a lot of small businesses. I would I would did, I, I, I would like to say because this to me I'm like why did we get out in three days? And I would like to propose that the way the reason we got my out cabbages. my cabbages my cabbages <laughs> <laughs> the reason yeah. we got out in three days is that because because of the fire and everything people like went to clean up and investigate and they discovered that there were like explosive devices underneath which is why the fire caught really well mm -hmm. and so it actually wasn't all gob's fault that it happened mm -hmm. um and so they I'll, we uncovered yeah, I'll, it I'll say, I'll at say the three days into what was gonna be a very long sentence yeah. they come in and they're like guys y'all are fucking saviors yeah. and they okay. you know <laughs> Perfect. No more jail time. You don't get any money or any re repercussions from this. Um, uh, so, adios. Could I have just to really cinch this story up? Because I convinced them all to do this. Could I have snuck away while they were getting arrested and I did no jail time? You can. Um, <laughs> you wily rascal. <laughs> I'm not um, <laughs> do you have dice in front of you? <sighs> Yes, I brought them out because I knew that we might have to roll something. Yes, you want me to roll like? Uh, roll, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, yeah, duality. Tell me if you roll with fear or hope. It doesn't matter what the number is. Oh, oh, fear. Very fear. <laughs> Very fear. I'm gonna die. Oh. <laughs> you, you're like creeping down an, uh, an uh, alleyway afterwards, thinking that you got away, and when you turn the corner, there's a guard just you just <laughs> out and grabs you. <laughs> they like toss, they're like you guys. It was dark in the cell, and then they opened it up. Y'all saw light, and they just threw me in. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly it. Yeah, you got about thirty minutes extra freedom compared to that. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was well spent. I was definitely like <laughs> eating a snack when they caught yeah. me. She <laughs> helps <laughs> 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 I'm free. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, the, the problem is, is when you brag about it at the next bar you go to. <laughs> I didn't brag <laughs> that loud. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> they all got arrested and I got away scot free. It was nothing. I am an expert. <laughs> <rogue. I'm, laughs> I was drunk. Like, I'm going to get my sister out. I'm going to get her out tomorrow. I'm getting her out. They can't keep my sister out. <laughs> Yeah. Strong hand. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, you're the only one who hasn't given us a mm -hmm. question. And so I guess out of the three, one that kind of goes with like the theme I was talking about was, uh, how did I save your life the first time we met? I guess since I gave a little bit of context to how I met Gob, we'll start with him. I saw you on the road. You had the egg in hand. Uh, let's see. I definitely think it can be something as basic as like some wild critter is about to come up and just eat me and I'm just not paying attention to it at all. Or <laughs> I'm yeah, just being followed by some mob. Again, me just being oblivious to it and like them coming up like, you know, they have the pitchforks, they got the torches, they got some like, you know, a lynch or just a bag that they're obviously going to put me in. Uh, and they're just like coming. You're just like, no, no, come on, come on. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. My guy is like a young cursed man. He's like, I am the shield that guards the realms of men and goblins and eggs. <laughs> And run around trying to help you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Kayla, I love him. Do you look good? I know. I know. Yeah, don't, I get imagine, uh, don't get attached. Don't get attached. You'll be dead by the, the end of this round. The whole uh, uh, first day my that best. Grim meets Gob, he's just following him around all day, just like stopping him from falling into holes. And, I'm like, like walking <laughs> myself into Final Destination situations just nonstop. Yeah. <laughs> There's like a mirror is falling and then like, he like reaches up and like hits it and breaks it before it crashes into him. <laughs> walking under so many pianos being raised up to the third floor. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> And then uh, yeah, I don't know if the sisters want to go together or separate. Up to you guys, I suppose. We go together. I think no. Hold on. I think that y'all should do it separate, and then y'all both have like met afterwards. Or like this guy just came out of nowhere. But and then, just like you... our father. <laughs> <laughs> I hope. Got daddy vibes, you know. Um. So. Like, um, so... I I have to mm. think, Kayla. Do you have something? Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. This is so hard. Um, so uh, y'all would have I, met Grim in the city if so. Okay, so this is I can I can go first because so Kayla, I would say if you need like a it to be a little bit easier, yours can be on that mission that we went to go find the cat mm. at some point, right? Mine mm. can be a little bit before then because I already had the contact at the pirate tavern, and mm -hmm. and Grim was already frequenting the location. So I will say that at one point while I was there, I was. Uh, trying to hustle some people um, and like pretending that I was not very good at a game and then actually darts. It was darts because I'm an excellent shot, you guys. I use daggers and throw them all the time. So I came in, <laughs> just a little girl, you know, like quiet and bad and uh, pulled one over on him. And in that moment, I would say grim that they definitely found out they knew and somehow you extricated me from that situation um i don't know if you know how did you um, know the guys there yeah i would say I, I probably loosely know of everybody i'm very observant in that he knows everyone knows everyone relatives that are buried um but doesn't necessarily talk to everybody. Um, maybe they threw a dart at you, and I, shield, uh, you know, uh, got in the way of the darts. And my guy's a giant, so part giant, I guess. Uh, my mother was a giant, so I put my back in front of you and between the board, and the darts got me in the back instead. <laughs> and everyone's a scared of me, but they don't know that Grim is a shy guy. Well, and listen, he's not that if, <laughs> but like, he looks scary. I'm trying not to make this a romantic situation, but I know I can no. see it. Um, I can see this circle. I know, like I'm he there in the, the dark. dark to his big when you, up, <laughs> when you look up, his he's got some fucked up teeth or something. <laughs> Real has what? fucked up teeth. Real no. does not. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. <laughs> his, his wife walks in. <laughs> or, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Or maybe um, I would say like, uh, what's that guy's name again? Yorick, right? Yeah, hmm. he was there. because I was a grave robber. I'm a little ashamed of it. I can't just go to anybody, so I went to Yorick because I feel like he might sort of yeah. understand. You know what I mean? He might like not be off put by it. Maybe he bumped me into the way to save you. Or, no, you saved you know. me intentionally. I feel like that's the guardian thing, right? Like that makes sense. It doesn't have to be romantic. I get like, and in fact, it shouldn't be. Like, but it could be but oh, it could be like if okay. my but my brain is doing romantic things i'm just i'm just you know like well like yeah mm -hmm. we don't need to you saved me and we'll leave it at that for mm -hmm. now you know <laughs> like, for, like, yeah. for now. we're all ripping sweating like like so yeah. yeah but i think that's good and then like I, I do but i do think they were still trying to attack me so i just also think that maybe your social sway with them like they cooled them off in some way. I probably had to give the money back too. So that's my answer. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Okay. All right. 
And so mine is, bear with me, okay. So he's at the graveyard, right? Sylvie turns into a crow because she wants to go sit on a headstone and like look at the worms. Like the body's not buried yet, right? But she wants to watch the worms doing their job, so doing so a little, a little feast. Mm -hmm. And Pretty like great. a little street urchin is like, I'm hungry, shoots the crow, right? And she takes enough damage that like she transforms back, but she has like, we're gonna say, you know, the arrow is like stuck pretty, you know, somewhere in her shoulder. It's very painful, but Grim is used to like sewing up the bodies so that people can like view them, you know, if they really care about it. Like, you know how sometimes you have to wire the jaw shut so the mouth doesn't flop open? Oh He's used to it. He's great with a needle. So he was able to stitch her up. Oh, wow. That's a good one. That's a good one. That is so He's good. I can look at the kid and be like, I heard one this septic week. Septic shop with the, the gross Listen, it's, it's, gets... it's fine. She's a warden. So, like, once he, he, she just needed it stitched a little bit. And now the rejuvenation's mm. happening. She was stunned. Yeah, yeah, okay. She was yeah. just staring up at the sky like she got shot. Okay. Yeah, no, that's fair. <laughs> Took her a minute. He sewed it up. And he, she was like, oh, antibiotic touch. I don't that know. That child freaked out and ran when you turned back into a woman with your, like, star, A beautiful fawn woman. Starlight uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. hair. I'll, <laughs> you know? I'll say because the child was, like, near the grave, uh, like, the grave site, that they probably frequent that area, like, just because that's probably where they live. Um, so I, they see you every once in a while. And when they see you, they pale white and run. <sighs> Every every show. Show. <laughs> I do want to say too, I fell into the grave with the worms and the dead potty. I feel like I just was important. Absolutely, 100%. Listen to me. My thought could be like, there's a new show that like, literally starts out like it's set in like the plague and like Italy, uh, Italy and stuff. And like literally, it's a kid like looking up at this crow and it's like, you know, he's like, food, he throws a rock, knocks it down. He's like, oh my god, a chicken. And then he just runs off. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah, the old me would have so totally sold your like organs. That's uh, fine. She, the she'll me. never know. <laughs> <laughs> Changed man. Yeah. Changed man. Yeah, you the old you would have been like, those are some good looking kidneys. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So that's the connections part. I, I do think we have to briefly talk about our ancestries. At least Kayla and I have to because we didn't decide this off stream. Since we're doing, but we're all doing mixed ancestries, right? So it seems like it. So Justin, what are your two ancestry choices? I'm doing Goblin and Dracona. I'm still deciding which way I want to flip it. Okay. Uh, I'm probably going uh, the primary one, Goblin. The secondary one's Dracona. Uh, Dracona. Okay, so Elemental Breath is the secondary, and then for the Goblin, you would take Danger Sense. Is what you think you yeah, might that's, take? That's a bit, yeah. 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 Okay. I, I, personally, I like the or the the skilled armor one makes more sense, but the sure footed one just seems so useless. Uh, yeah, <laughs> when does that, like that? Yeah. Like, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Agreed. That's definitely. I don't think that's I don't care. Yeah. Okay, and then Chris, yeah. you're a human giant, right? Mm -hmm. Do you know which ones you're taking? Um, let's see. So I like Caleb. Uh, built my character a while back. I meant to like. <laughs> go and look at it again because that was like pre 1.5 yeah. but what i got so far is um i got top so i got the giant's endurance oh. an additional hit point slot yeah and then nice. i think for human i picked adaptability because i think that's a fun one when you roll a roll that utilize your experience you can mark a stress and re-roll you must take the new result yep. just we said there's not a lot of ways to use stress that gives you kind of an option that's very fun okay uh, now yeah, Kayla, do you know what you're taking? Yeah, on, on mine, I know that she is, like, more fun, but on Ancestry, I did take the high stamina for my top one just because that's super helpful, I feel like. I don't know. Okay. Uh, and then on the bottom one, I took kick. So you're the fawn, oh, you sweet. have the fawn kick. <laughs> now, this yeah. is the only hard thing for me is that I really want that kick. I really <laughs> want it so bad, and I really want to do a Because you'll be doing a melee is the thing well, like, I, so it would make sense you kick them that's not even what i care like, about i want a tag oh. team role where we both kick a thing like <laughs> <laughs> the river yeah. stump was, yeah, <laughs> yeah like i just wanted like but the problem is is that i need celestial trance because that's the better yeah. of the elves abilities during a rest you can drop mm -hmm. into a trance and make an extra downtime move is yeah. incredible so i that's, that's way better amazing, than the yeah. stress to take an advantage role which means I'm getting uh, the leap. 
Um, so, which is still mm-hmm. roguey. That's still roguey, yeah. but like leave And it's also be. cute. You got one, I got the other. Yeah, I think that's yeah, cute too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we're together. Good. We make one whole fawn. Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, we get to do Charlie's Angels. Like, you know, mm-hmm. um, sure. I want to make so many tag teams with you, Kayla. So many. Mm-hmm. Like, um, you should. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Cool. Great. Um, yeah. Uh, do y'all know y'all's communities? Yes. I yes. think I went with Wonderborn. Oh, great. Is it nice. still the pack? Yep, Nomadic Pack. Love Wonderborn. Kayla and I are both the same because we're mm-hmm. sisters, So, but I don't remember what we choose. Um, Wildborn. Wildborn. We're Wildborn, mm-hmm. which just means we're sneaky, which is great for me. Mm-hmm. Um, Lightfoot mm-hmm. is fantastic for me. Um, and then, Chris, do you know what Grim is? Slyborn? So Grim is a kind of like Slyborn sea born resident, but his mother was a giant, so he was actually born in a ridge. Okay. And she took uh, me here as a solo slot. giant I mother. It. I do want that armor slide and uh, yeah. we're gonna role play our ass off to get it. Yeah. <laughs> he said, I am like, the me by the Give me the armor. <laughs> You yeah, can't my, uh, kill me. Giants don't the really accept. The opposite of Justin's giants. character. Never going to die. And my mother being a single mom uh, <laughs> we brought me here to that we gravekeeper are... who was a buddy of hers. And she we thought I would all... have a better life out here. You got two moms. You got one mom. I got no moms. <laughs> fatherless behavior. Hazard, None of us have a father. <laughs> fatherless. That the is... Diary. I, w- I have to remember it, but I, I can't remember it right now. But that was one of my experiences that I was making was something that specifically. Oh, oh, I was going to make it like the thing of, of the, the concept is basically like, I don't like it when people like Commander Kane are shitty men that's a specific mm-hmm. thing I can fight. So mm-hmm. like 50% of the population, let me at them, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't like- For my experience, I picked unsettling just cause she's weird, man. Ooh, cool. Brings people out and then uh, observant just cause she, people don't think she's watching cause wow. she's watching the bugs, but she's watching other people too. Wow. She people watching. Do y'all mm-hmm. have y'all and, and bug watching. Uh, I, mm-hmm. I'm still, I, I got one. The other two I'm still thinking on. The first mm-hmm. one is the Red Wizard of the Forest. Uh, oh! oh yeah. The Red Wizard and of the Forest. one, I just have one as my egg, but I'm just going to elaborate on that later. My uh, egg. My egg. My egg. My egg. My egg. My egg. <laughs> my egg. <laughs> my egg. <laughs> any, any time that like something <laughs> dangerous is happening to us, it's just my egg to save you. And, yeah, that's great, Justin. I like that. I like where your head's out. Keep yourself alive. <laughs> Chris, do you know yours? Yeah, so I have a, um, we get three up to this point, I believe. Yeah. Um, yeah. So my favorite holiday, or you know, at least one of them, is Day of the Dead. So I got uh, ofrenda, which is things you put on your Day of the Dead mm-hmm. altar. So uh, that'd be like giving an offering. This is what it means in English. Um, mm-hmm. So anything that like you know, he can be a deal maker at times. Uh, reap what is sown is one. And then, what does Dead Man Never Die, the one I mentioned earlier? Uh, it's kind of a Game of Thrones reference, but so cool. he's like a, a C, a C lad. Does he happen to have it? Just because you said a, a friend and everything, does he happen to have any like Spanish kind of background and stuff, or like is he? Yeah, I was gonna sprinkle in some Day of the Dead stuff to give some of my, uh, you know what I mean, a little bit of my. My heritage maybe the in there. Old, uh, maybe the old grave robber, like, because he kind of raised you. He, like, that was, like, more of his culture. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Or even you. And that's like, how you feel so guilty yeah. about your grave robbing now. You're just like, oh, man. Yeah, this true, doesn't true. come up a lot, but, like, in point of fact, three of the five of us are Latinos on this channel. Yeah. <laughs> like, so, like, we're, we're, uh... Yeah. Uh, two of us. You heard me. I. I mean, you're, you're not a Latino. <laughs> Exclusion. I just like it, it, it's just interesting, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, like, uh, you know, we're not a. That's that's good. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I, I. I. But that's exciting for me to see like a character that has that because I think that's really pretty rare in like tabletop games to see that represented. So I think that's really cool. Yeah, I'm a uh, Mexican and Irish, so John Blackstone was kind of like. A drunk Irish. Yep. Um, 
I was thinking of. <laughs> I played a, a goblin for a long time, and like anytime I had like a magic word, I would just use like the word in Spanish. Oh, that's very good. Oh, uh, that's cool. <laughs> <Very good. laughs> They're like, what go. mystical language is this? You're like, agua. Literally, <laughs> 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 <Yeah, it's laughs> just flame go, get his flame tongue. Oh, there we yeah, go. My flame tongue. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think it's a cool flavor to put on kind of like a Grim Reaper kind of thing, you know, so it's not yeah. so like moody. Right. That's good. It's a little more like a little celebration unique. of it. Yeah, I love it. Okay. Do I y'all think- have uh, any questions about like Pearl Heart or anything like that to kind of like help y'all along for the the start of the adventure. What's the uh, what's the vibe of the city? Yeah. Vibe of the city is uh, here. Uh, it kind of depends on like what part of the city you're in. I was about to ask like what what are some like major landmarks so we can like you know know how we're navigating around generally. So- um, in the Harbor District, there is the um, Azura Quarry, um, and that's where you find a lot of like distant, uh, far-traveled ships that are coming in and doing like exotic trades and stuff like that. Um, also, there is a open-air market that kind of lines that uh, quarry area, that kind of harbor area there. Um, additionally, on the other side of the harbor is the Fishman's Wharf, which is your more local kind of fishermen that are bringing in the the mills and the food from uh, the sea for the city. Uh, we have the Market Ward, which is made up of the Bazaar of Wonders. It is where you find lots of interesting potions, maybe magic items, maybe things that like uh, treasure maps or things that might lead you uh, on searches for things. Um, there is the Arcane Emporium, which is more built for wizards and sorcerers. There's uh, spell components, that kind of stuff that um, uh, is like ventured there. The Noble District in uh, Ivory Heights is probably where y'all would have ended up finding that big cat. Um, is uh, mansion, uh, man- mansions polished in marble and gold roofs that overlook gardens. Ooh, um, pretty. Yeah, and then there's a royal court. There is a royal family within the, the city that itself. That was going to be my question, was what kind of structure there is. So it's royal. Yes, it is royalty. There is a monarchy, um, and they, like, kind of uh, are very prominent on, like, major deeds done by great leaders. So they, they're very, like, heroic deeds. This is how we saved the city. This is how he prevented the, you know, famish or whatever it might have been. Um, and like kind of depicts different, like it within the, the royal like room itself depicts different like kings doing different major tasks. Is that kind of like an Arthurian vibe? Kind of, yeah. Cool, um, cool. Arthurian meets, uh, uh, I kind of have like the vibe of like, um, I'll have to, I'll, I'll send the picture later, but it, there's a specific city. The, I, I love the look of it. It's just like a city built on top of itself. It like spires up. Um, it, it, it has that. I think so. Because I, I was uh, thinking when you said over those is those uh, buildings in the in the uh, rich district overlooking gardens mm-hmm. made me think of the hanging gardens of Babylon, one of the seven wonders of the world that doesn't exist anymore and stuff, um, which is super cool. If that's the inspiration at all, and I don't know what it is, you know. I'll I'll share uh, some stuff on the Discord uh, when, when I get a chance. Um, there was the Artisans Quarter, which is like I, I mentioned, where the Forge District is. You'll find people that are making armor and weapons and stuff there. Um, the Tapestry uh, Weavers Guild um, is uh, where you'll find a lot of like actual artsy kind of stuff being done in the city. So there are the weavers there, but there's like it's all like art, basically. Uh, and then in the temple uh, uh, district, there's the sanctuary, uh, the sanctuary of the moon, um, which like there is a moon god in the city, very uh, 
popular uh, goddess that lives uh, that is like worshipped within the city. She does a lot of uh, sea things. Um, mm, and I can give you all more cool. information on that. Um, and then there's the Oracle Spire. So her Oracle kind of reads the mist and it comes up, uh, it comes in from the waves and from the, the seas to give prophetic like uh, things that might be happening. Um, and then the Undercity. The Undercity is a labyrinth of tunnels where you'll find black markets, where you're going to find like the, the gamblers, the, the, the underside of the city. Exactly. Where would we be staying in the city? Are we, do we, are we in the under area or we are just in like a poorer area? Is the... So you're, you're probably going to be in like um, either in between the Harbor District or the Market Ward because that is, they have um, taverns and stuff there. So they have like inns and stuff in those areas. So those are... we're our... in the working man section of town. Is our home yeah. base, is our home base a, for this is probably for our, the group rather than Steven necessarily, is our home base a inn that we've stayed, that we're staying in long term? Have we bounced between inns or have we met someone in the city that has taken us in? Like, what, what is that? Can we stay at Grimm's graveyard? Oh, it's an option. Can we? Oh, that's cool. Can we like sleep in like a yeah. like a decrepit mausoleum, but like he's got nice beds in there, you know? Yeah, I like it. That's and cool. And I mean, the 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 graveyard and everything would be near the temple district, essentially. Ooh. Oh yeah, oh, for yeah. sure. So y'all would have like you'd be able to see the Oracle Spire nearby from where you are, things like. Are there catacombs nice under quiet. the city that the graveyard attaches to that can, that can connect to the under areas? Um, yeah, so the um, in the undercity, like the name for the locals, they call the undercity the depths. So um, I, for sure, I feel like they you'd be able to find uh, if you had been digging in like, you know. Up, well, up, I like up, going up in, underground, you know, like yeah, because... Um, well, Grim, uh, I guess, was like stealing bodies for a while. I'm sure he would have found one of the crypts that. The point, a right? Crypt, yeah. Maybe that's how I would get to the uh, nobility, right? Because I would. Yeah, you went to the old crypt. There. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. So, so this is a really important question. Grim, have you told us that you were doing that? Mm, I would say uh, maybe, maybe not. Maybe he's embarrassed about that. You would have uh, only known these secret. people for a few months at this point. Like you I love it. Known, known yeah, like Yorick knows. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like yeah, the shorter the better. So shy. Yeah. You yeah. said between two people. to six months. I feel like yeah. keep it at that two range. Does everybody? I'm fine with that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they would have ditched me long ago. No, nobody. <laughs> Never. I love you. Um, okay. Cool. That's good. Um, there's I, an Ad- adventures guild. There are a couple unique things that within the city that don't. I didn't put into districts for whatever reason. There's an adventures guild, and that is something that um, y'all, having just gotten to the city, wouldn't be able to like join up right away. It like, takes mm-hmm. like some renown within the city to join. Um, there is the Pearl Heart Pearl, which is the Coliseum, kind of built the into the center of the city, um, uh, into the center of the city, which uh, is constantly has things going on. It might not be like big fights all the time. There might be just um, they treat it kind of like a, a Olympics, like a year-round Olympics. And you see like field and track happening, and all kinds of stuff like that happening. So, Steven, you're cutting out a lot. I think I think you're just um, maybe far. No, your mic is in your headset, isn't it? No, no, it's not. It's right here. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's like very like Olympian. Um, there's a lot of like track and field stuff happening within the uh, Coliseum. Um, and then the sea gates, they're the enormous gates that like gate the harbor. So like within it, there's rooms that protect the city from um, outside sieges. That's one of the things the, uh, one of the more important kings, one of the more notable kings was uh, set in place. Okay, cool. Well, we have a lot of context. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to make sure, and this was something like I, I wanted to make sure, and I kind of mentioned it before the stream, um, if we wanted to circle back around to these characters later, or if we wanted to do another adventure in this place, I wanted to build a really like kind of fun 
city to to have like for sure a good playground in i'm excited like this will be our first because that's one of the things is as you get to higher levels you lower levels you're in like little tiny towns little coast stuff forests as you get to higher levels you move into cities more frequently and stuff so it'll be cool to be level four characters in a city it's really cool i'm excited Ah. One thing I might suggest, uh, uh, if you go the route of the uh, Syndicate Rogue, it might be, if we're like staying in this like one dense town, it may be worth instead of like an each town you go to, you have a contact, it may be like each ward, like, each, each ward, you might have a contact and it's like, even if you travel across multiple, you may can only like reach out to one per session kind of thing. You know, my only thing is I love that idea. Like, I, and and the and the syndicate rogue at the first baseline is so cool. My problem with the syndicate rogue is that at higher levels, it starts to feel super goofy to me. The way it reads, of like you're in the middle of combat and somebody just takes an arrow to the knee for you and stuff. You know, <laughs> how we were describing the uh, like how we can get NPCs that are present in combat, how we can get them to interact <laughs> and stuff. It's a pre-built-in one for that. Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. It is like which works a lot of the time. But if we've gone into like a crypt, for example, right, and it's just us, I think I almost have to be like this. Fred, like if Fred just comes with. I this, know that skeletal structure. Yeah, yeah so, <laughs> you can find a way to do it. I, I do. In cities, though, is where syndicate rogue kind of things thrive. But I'm just gonna have to see because that shadow stepping is so cool and. Very excited about that. Look at this little cat. Um, cool. Okay. But that was basically all I was going to go over with y'all in session zero. We got some good groundworks for how y'all met, how y'all's characters are going to be interacting. Um, we know your characters now, which is a lot of fun. I'm glad that we're getting to see y'all's characters come to life tonight. Um, did y'all have, was there anything else y'all had questions about? I don't think so. I feel like we're really prepped. Yeah, you gave us tons to play with and work off of uh, for and I, and I'm gonna, Zero. I'm going to send you all my overview for Pearl Heart so that way you all can kind of like read over it a little bit more. I know I was kind of rambling there for a second, um, but it'll give you all a good look. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds exciting. But it is rambling. getting, yeah, it's getting it's to late. be that yeah. time. I didn't expect us to go three hours, guys. I love it. It was like, yeah, it'll be a short section. We'll we'll do a little recap. We'll do I a know. session one. I know it it's, is a regular ending time. It is regular. <laughs> Nothing short with us. Three hours worth of editing for me. So mm -hmm. very excited. But all right, it was two chunks of an hour and a half. Yeah, two chunks. So all right. Well, just as a reminder, guys, if you've made it to the end of this video, thank you for bearing there with us. Um, we will not be here next Monday. We're taking the week off. We will return the following Monday again. That is August uh, 12th. So we'll be here August 12th to begin our little series of play. I'll lean in. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think you're fine. <laughs> but thank you all so much. Um, and anything else from anybody? Are we okay? Make sure you're following us on all of our platforms. We're on Twitter, we're on Instagram, we're over here on Discord, and on YouTube. Um, we can use the follows everywhere. It helps yeah. out sometimes. And um, if you do catch us on uh, uh, YouTube and you're watching this on YouTube, like that video, comment underneath it. We love interactions. <laughs> <laughs> all right well thank you guys so much i hope you have a lovely next week if any of you're going to gen con have a good time and we will catch you in august happy open beta everybody bye 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 bye, bye, bye. oh my goodness <laughs> you did it three times